أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم uh, Picking up with the uh, legendary series of the prophets عليهم الصلاة والسلام From page number 340 This is your humble orator Muhammad Israel And uh, please do feel free to go back on all of the prophets we have covered until this point uh, because we only have uh, just a few pages left of Prophet Isa, Jesus Christ. And then we're moving on to Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam. Uh, and uh, we we have uh, mentioned in the prior uh, 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 videos that we will actually retake, uh, you know, from a more detailed perspective, uh, which is the book that we are actually looking at uh, on the screen. Uh, but anyway, picking up from when Jalla Jalal, who says then, uh, it was heard, or... Uh, from uh, Surah Maryam, uh, ayahs number 16 through 39. Carried unto, un, cried unto her, meaning uh, Maryam, from uh, below. Meaning that, again, uh, it was a voice uh, that came from below. Some narratives uh, give that to be Jesus Christ himself. Others say that it was the verse of great Gabriel, Jibra'il alayhi salatu was salam, and, may, and Allah Ta'ala knows best. But what is said was, Grieve not, your Lord has provided a water stream under you, and shake the trunk of palm tree towards you. It will, it will let fall fresh ripe dates upon you. You so eat and drink and be glad. And if you see any human being, say verily, I have vowed a fast unto the most beneficent Allah Jalla Jalaluhu. So I shall not speak to any human being this day. Then he brought him, the meaning the baby to her. Well, then excuse me, she brought. Uh, the baby to her people cry, carrying him. They said, Oh Mary, indeed you have brought a thing, an unheard mighty thing. Oh sister, the like of Aaron, not the brother, in other words, not the brother of Moses, but the, the one who was another pious man during the time of Mary. Some say that it was somehow in Uh, well, let's continue. Your father was not a man who used to commit adultery, nor was your mother an unchaste woman. Then she pointed to him. They said, how can we talk to one who is a child in the cradle? He, Isa, alayhi salatu was salam, Jesus Christ himself said, verily I am a slave of Allah, Jalla Jalaluhu. He has given me the scripture and made me a prophet, and he has made me blessed wherever I be, and I and has enjoined on me prayer and zakah as long as I live and dutiful to my mother and made me not arrogant and blessed and say and peace excuse me be upon me the day I was born that and the day I die and the day I shall be raised alive such is Jesus the son of Mary it is a statement of truth about which they doubt or dispute it befits not the majesty Allah Jalla Jalaluhu that he should beget a son this refers to the slander of Christians against Allah by saying that Jesus is the son of Allah Glorified and exalted be he, Allah, above all that they associate with him. When he decrees a thing, he only says to it be. And it is. Jesus said, and verily, Allah is my Lord and your Lord. So worship him alone. That is the straight path. Allah's religion of Islamic monotheism, which he did ordain for all of his prophets. Then the sex deferred. Example, the Christians about Jesus. So woe unto the disbelievers, those who gave false witness, saying that Jesus is the son of Allah from the meeting of a great day, meaning the day of resurrection when they will be thrown into the blazing, blazing for lying and making up stuff. All this fabrication needs to stop. How clearly will they, meaning the polytheists and the disbelievers in uh, or the oneness of Allah, 
How clearly will they see and hear the day when they will appear before Allah Jalla Jalaluhu's kingdom? But the Zalimun, in the polytheists, the criminal rival Dua Iblises, today are in plain error. And warn them, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, of the day of grief and regret, when the case has been decided, while now they are in a state of carelessness and they believe. Not. It was said that Joseph the carpenter was greatly surprised when he knew the story, so he asked Mary, Can a tree come to grow without a seed? She said, Yes, the one which Allah Jalla Jalaluhu created for the first time. He asked her again, Is it is it possible to bear a child without a male partner? She said, Yes. Allah Jalla Jalaluhu created Adam without male or female. It was also said that while pregnant, Mary went one day to her aunt who reported that she felt as if she was pregnant. Mary in turn said that she too was feeling as if she was pregnant. Then her aunt said, I can see what is in my womb, prostrating to what is in your womb. Because again, uh, interesting. Uh, they were relatives. The Jewish priests felt this child Jesus was dangerous, for they felt that the people would turn their worship to Allah the Almighty alone, displaying the existing Jewish tenets. Consequently, they would lose their authority over the people. Therefore, they kept the miracle of Jesus' speech in infancy as a secret and accused Mary of a great misdeed. And I was just thinking uh, back in corporate, I had a who appeared to be a genuine Christian uh, co worker. And this is back in uh, data center. Um, and what I had him read uh, was the story of, of Mary, the, the chapter, Surah Maryam. And what really got me to do that, this was over 20 years ago, was the fact that Jesus spoke as an infant. He did not know that. Um, when he came to learn that, he decided to accept and embrace that and say, the Lord can do whatever he wants to say, <laughs> but rejected everything else. It's just uh, really, really important. And then he, he says, actually, I, I'm not obligated to believe that because the scripture doesn't say anything about it. So this is the reason why, again, um, it has been uh, placed out of the scripture. And the Quran substantiates what is true of all these scriptures and what is not and what is false. Uh, the Quran points it out. But getting along now, as Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, grew, the signs of prophethood began to increase. He could tell his friends what kind of supper waited for them at home and what they had hidden and where. When he was 12 years old, he accompanied his mother to Jerusalem. There he wandered into the temple and joined a crowd listening to the lectures of the rabbis, meaning the Jewish priest. The audience were all adults, but he was not afraid to sit with them. After listening intently, he asked questions and expressed his opinion. The learned rabbis were disturbed by the boy's boldness and puzzled by the questions he asked, for they were unable to answer him. They tried to silence him, but he ignored their attempts and continued to express his views. Jesus Yeshua became so involved in this exchange that he forgot he was expected back home. In the meantime, his mother went home thinking that he might have gone back with relatives or friends. When she arrived, she discovered that he was not there, so she returned to the city to look for him. At last she found him in the temple sitting among the learned conversing with them. He appeared to be quite at ease as if he had been doing this all his life. Mary got angry with him for causing her worry. He tried to assure her that all the arguing and debating with the learned had made him forget the times. 
Jesus grew up to manhood. It was Sabbath, a day of complete rest. No fire could be lit or extinguished, nor could females plaint or plait their hair. Moses, uh, peace and blessings be upon him, had commanded that Saturday be dedicated to the worship of Allah. However, the wisdom behind the Sabbath and its spirit had gone, and only the letter remained in the Jewish hearts. Also, they thought that the Sabbath was kept in heaven and that the people of Israel had been chosen by Allah only to observe the Sabbath. <clears throat> Excuse me. They made a hundred things unlawful on Saturday, even self-defense or calling a doctor to save a patient who was in a bad condition, or who was in bad condition. This is how their life was branded by such hypocrisy, although the Pharisees were guardians of the law. They were ready to sell it when their interests were involved so as to obtain personal gains. There was, for example, a rule which prohibited a journey of more than 1,000 yards on the Sabbath day. What do we expect of the Pharisees in this case? The day before, they transferred their food and drink, and drink from their homes 2,000 yards away and erected a temporary house so that from there they could travel a further thousand yards as the Sabbath day. Jesus was on his way to the temple. Although it was the Sabbath, he reached out his hand to pick two pieces of fruit to feed a hungry child. This was considered to be a violation of the Sabbath law. He made a fire for the women too. He made a fire for the women to keep themselves warm from the freezing air. Another violation. He went to the temple and looked around. There were 20,000 Jewish priests registered there who earned or who earned their living from the temple. The rooms of the temple were full of them. Jesus observed that this visitor's uh, or, or that these visitors were much fewer than the priest. Or, uh, in other words, Jesus observed that the visitors were much fewer than the priest, yet the temple was full of sheep and doves, uh, which were sold to the people to be offered as sacrifices. Every step in the temple cost the visitor money. They worshipped nothing but money. In the temple, the Pharisees and, Sa and uh, Sadducees acted as if it were a marketplace, and these two groups always disagreed uh, on everything. Jesus followed the scene with his eyes and observed that the poor people who could not afford the price of the sheep or dove were swept away like flies by the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Uh, Jesus was astonished. Why did the priests burn a lot of offerings inside the temple while thousands of people were hungry outside it? Very interesting. Very interesting. On this blessed night, the two noble prophets, John the Baptist and Zachariah, peace and blessings be upon him, died, killed by the ruling authority. On the same night, the revelation descended upon Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon him. Allah Jalla Jalalu, who commanded him to begin his call to the children of Israel. To Jesus, the life of ease was closed, and the page of worship and struggle was opened. Like an opposing force, the message of Jesus came to denounce the practices of the Pharisees and the Sadducees uh, and to reinforce the law of Moses in the face of a materialistic age of luxury and worship of gold. Jesus called his people to a noble life by word and deed. This exemplary life was the only way out of the wretchedness and disease of his 
age. Uh, inshallah, we, we, we will stop it here on uh, page number 345. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika wa tabaraka asmu rabbika ta'ala jadduk wa la ilaha ghayruka wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al-ali al-azim. Subhana rabbika rabbil aizzati amma yasifuna wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.